So from today, we're going to talk about uh, powder characterization, which means to use in, to use different technique to characterize to to um, to show what uh, the physical chemical property, the characteristics of the powders. So let's talk about this characteristics and properties of ceramics. These two words similar related but slightly different characteristics of a material means if we read it parameters that uh, specify specify the chemical or physical aspects of its composition and structure that means characteristics okay and quite often it encompasses two parts one is chemical composition the other one is about uh, its physical structure, what it looks like. And properties of a material mean something different. It means its response, the material's response, in this case ceramics, to change in physical or chemical environment. That means properties. It's related but slightly different. And properties quite often we mean thermal properties, mechanical properties, chemical properties, or electrical properties. But here in this kind of section, we are more interested in characteristics, its composition and structure, and how are we going to characterize them using different tools to analyze them to show what um, the features are. So powder characterization. To characterize the powder, to show the characteristics of the powder would be critical to the starting material quality control if you are in production setting. Okay, you control the particle size or you control the the composition, purity, and it also control the microstructure control uh, of the final ceramic body. If we, we control these things. Powder characterization would reveal the information about uh, several aspects. One is chemical composition. What are the phases? What are the impurity elements or impurity phases? Phase composition such as whether it's aluminum oxide or silicon dioxide, whether it's graphite versus diamond. Okay, phase, major and the impurity elements and the contents. Right, uh, we have a um, titanium powder. How much impurity aluminum? How much impurity iron in it? Impurity elements and contents. Other impurities. For example, your powder, how much absorbed moisture, absorbed carbon dioxide gas in the system, okay? And for structure, quite often we mean the primary particle size, what's the size, what's the shape, and what's the size distribution for the powder that we are handling for the primary particle. And sometimes the smaller particles, they come together, bonded softly or, or strongly into larger so-called granules, um, secondary, so-called secondary particle size and shape. And packing density, how are the powders packed together? Are they dense or um, loosely? How loosely? Porosity, how much pores within the system? Right, porosity. If we want uh, um, uniform packing, high packing, we probably do not want too high porosity. On the other hand, if we want a porous material for catalysis application, we probably want high porosity. Okay. Specific surface area, which is related to the particle size and also relates to features such as centerability or catalyst uh, activity.